I had to cancel my uh, outing video again. Uh, we got uh, bad weather in the area. Uh, why did I got the Great Lakes area? I don't know. Uh, because my because my cell phone goofed up when I grabbed it. So let me punch it back up again. And besides that, uh, I'm just going to stay home today and keep an eye on things. Uh, basically. So we're just going to stay home stay keep our eye on things because... Yeah, we got rain in the area. Uh, it's about ready to hit us any second. And I'm just going to stay home, keep an eye on things. Angie's just notified me uh, when she took off this morning, uh, basically. Uh, she said the UPS truck is in the area. So uh, we'll see if it makes a delivery. If it does, we'll see if the guy makes a mistake. Uh, which I kind of doubt because there is a back door. There's two ways to get in the building. The, the way I showed you on the camera. And there's another way out the other way. I think I did it on a live stream. Or attempted to do it on a live stream. So there is another way out of the building. If they need, if that guy wants to do that again. Which I kind of doubt. Uh, because I he kind of heard us talking that we're going to keep an eye out. Keep an eagle eye out. Ooh. We got our evil, not an evil eye, but we got to have our evil eye out for them. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, enough of that, shenanigans. Um, we'll just sit here. I'll probably sit on the patio for a while, but I think I'm just going to sit on the couch. I can see everything from the couch there where Angie normally sits. And we'll just see what happens in that, okay? Okay, just outside uh, briefly. There is a drizzle in the air, so... Uh, I probably won't be out here very long anyway, and that. So, uh, like I said, skies are overcast. There is threat of rain in the area. Uh, a lot of work going around the apartment complex still going on. A lot of mowing, cutting grass, and that. And uh, eventually, the landscaping will begin uh, eventually soon. And Angie's still gotten nothing from her person that ordered the packages in behalf because remember like I said we had returned one package Wednesday uh, in that rain and that's why I made us cancel that video and that's a video I've been trying to get in the last couple of days but with uh, crap going on up here I think it's just best that one of us just kind of stay home keep an eye on things kind of watch out for other neighbors stuff if they get something uh, just to make sure nothing uh, shenanigans happens and hopefully we catch them red-handed. Uh, anyway, just uh, be vigilant, uh, basically. Almost have to do. Uh, because if there was a, let's say, a delivery truck pulled in up here, our suspect would see it come in easily. And uh, they'll just uh, go wherever it goes. And i got to remember this, guys. There is no way in and out of these apartments. So uh, even I could be out here, vigilant out here, but we got nobody on the other half of the building being vigilant uh, because that's where they will sneak out and re-enter uh, the buildings. So I just got to hear uh, some like unusual noises uh, that I don't expect uh, basically because very few people will enter the back way. We're one of them. Uh, enter the back way uh, because that's our shortcut. Uh, that's technically our shortcut in and out of the building where we need to go. So, unless we're doing a garbage run, head out that way, then we head out that way. But we usually head out the back door every day. And, uh, of course, we're expecting a package. Uh, but the package was supposed to, like I said, was supposed to have been delivered Tuesday. We still haven't got it. Uh, technically. And we still can't get the proper information that we need because... In order to get it, uh, like I said in last night's video, um, in order to get it, to to have that, to, to send us, to say, hey, just tell us yes or no. It's a simple yes or no question. Did you get an email? Then the next question is, can we get a copy of that email? So this way we can file a complaint uh, if we have to. Uh, no email proof. We can't file a complaint, uh, basically. So somebody is has a hundred fifty dollar plus item uh they stole from us uh because we were supposed to have that package uh tuesday and it never showed up uh i'm pretty sure it did show up 
it probably got left at the door, and somebody decided, like, one of our neighbors down the hall, they had three packages stolen from them already in the, in the last couple months. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to have to be more vigilant up here. And, of course, I think one of our neighbors doesn't like it. We're talking about it, too. So, uh, I guess they know, I think they know the jig is up. Okay, if I counted right, we have like four vacancies in our half of the building. But I'm going to show you real quick what they're doing out in the hallway. And it just makes unusual noises because they ripped up the old rug. Oh, let's unlock the door. They ripped up the old rug and they're going to put a new rug in. And that's going to be the unusual noise we're going to be hearing because uh, even with us walking in and out of the apartment, doing our daily routines and all that stuff, it just makes unusual noises. So as of right now, uh, one of my neighbors is not home right now. She doesn't come home till late tonight. Uh, don't know about the people across the hall. There's a vacancy down below and there's two, three vacancies below us and that. So... Uh, then I think there's one on the bottom floor. I think there's a vacancy on the... Actually, I think there's two more vacancies. So there, I think there's six vacancies up here. And the building's getting... Re and the apartment's getting renovated, too. So uh, maintenance hasn't been around. Maintenance is busy up here renovating. So they're renovating apartments that they need to push uh, right now. That's people waiting for to, to sign up for. So basically, that's it. So maintenance will be working on those buildings those apartments real quick before they get to anything that's more demand in our apartment uh basically in our building in that okay i don't want to make this video too long too boring uh like i said i'm gonna be sitting off and on uh right there kind of looking out the window and kind of kind of hear any unusual noises uh basically that's all we need to do i don't expect any of our neighbors expecting packages today but we're still waiting for ours. But the problem is, we don't know because we're not getting the information. Uh, just please, for the sake of our headaches and your guys' headaches, um, all we just need is a yes or no. Was it delivered? Was it not delivered? That's all we need to know. But we're not getting that information. And then she's been calling these people for uh, calling somebody that has ties to these people almost every day so I'm pretty sure they're getting sick and tired of Angie calling and wondering what's going on what's going on and uh, we're just not getting any answers so uh, basically someone spent their $150 to give us an item we didn't get because somebody decided to have a five finger discount five fingers Chuck five fingers not four what do you think this is four horsemen or something like that uh, but uh, yeah it, it, we got to be more vigilant. That's all. Okay, I think I should have done this long time ago, but we were for sure. But uh, all we had to do is get communication. Angie just got a call. Uh, unfortunately, Angie's got to go get it. So I have to let her know when she gets home. The pans that she ordered is at an off location. So good thing it was not stolen, uh, technically, because that's all we were looking for. That. Something that confirmed it's someplace else. And I always knew when UPS delivers packages, uh, if someone's not home, they take it to an off location, uh, basically, and leave it there. But for some reason, we did not get the note on the door. Uh, letting us know it's there. That's from UPS. So I bet you somebody made an attempt to uh, steal the package from down there. Uh, we're going to ask. Uh, we're going to ask them. Uh, I'm going to make sure Angie asked that question because it's the package is in her name. So we'll just let Angie know on the next clip here. Hi, she's trying a breath of relief now, huh? Yes. Okay, uh, happy you got your package? Yes. Yep, this is what we were worried about, guys. Uh, Angie's got all this. Uh, in that one order, remember that TV monitor or that monitor I had to take back? This was the other half of the package uh, deal that Angie was getting from the third party. And this was a part we had, thought we had stolen. There it is. Yep, that's what it is right there. Almost most of that. But $120, guys. $120 package. So that was $120 worth of pots and pans right there. And uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute here. Wait. 14 piece. Jack? Yeah? Don't yeah. show it on camera. Don't show it on camera? Come here. 14 piece? $150. Oh, it's $150 for a 14 piece. That's a 13 piece you, you're looking at. 14. But we had a 14 piece. So it's $150. How's that? And these are sturdy pots and pans. They're high quality. We can use them in the oven. Except for the lids, of course. <laughs> and that. But otherwise, uh, not bad. Okay, uh, we'll see you later tonight. We'll have our final thoughts. Uh, this does mean the thieves, package thieves, is come to an end up here. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm no. afraid not. Ooh, circuit of lights tonight. I like them and I love them. Yeah. Okay, uh, like I said earlier in this video, uh, I, like I said, since uh, since we've been talking about this, uh, especially for AMG's package when it comes luckily to a third party. Luckily we got it. Luckily we got it, but all we was asking from your third party people was a simple email confirming was it delivered here or someplace else. And they were just not being truthful with us. Right. So, uh, anybody who's buying packages for us, uh, just be considering... Uh, the email, okay? All right, UPS was up here today uh, between clips, and uh, they successfully delivered their package because someone was home, which that was good. I guess the thief was kind of upset they missed an opportunity because UPS does not leave packages here. Because no. uh, if you're not home, they take it to an they take it to an alternative site. That's where I had to go. And to that's go. where Angie had to go to pick it up at the alternative site. Yeah, it's heavy. Yeah, it was heavy. Those pots and pans are heavy. We're probably going to do a little review on those pots and pans uh, probably in the next couple of days. So stay tuned on that little review on those pots and pans. Uh, they look good, right? Yes. I can't wait to use them. That's right. Okay. Whenever we get the other monitor, uh, uh, I am going to be have to, except for two Mondays and Tuesdays, except for this Monday and Tuesday, which I don't expect a, a return shipment anyway, uh, we're going to do our Monday and Tuesday thing, what we need to do. Uh, basically, Tuesday will probably be live at lunch. Yeah, I think Tuesday. I thought we was going to do it Monday. Okay, I, I one or the other. I thought we was doing it live at lunch on Monday. Okay, and we we're supposed to do something else on Tuesday. We was supposed to. Uh, you want me to say find a last minute room for the hotel or something like that? Or you can you can ask the person if we're still on for Tuesday. Okay, all right. Just see if we're still on for Tuesday for lunch with that person. That's yeah. your mom and dad. Yes. And that one we're not vlogging, but we will be live. Uh, we've probably already seen it already because it, what do you call it? It's live and that. So uh, we plan to do it at least once a month uh, mm -hmm. to tell you, to, like, to kind of remind you guys. We're going to do it once a month. Uh, basically, so the time you watch this video, we already had a live at lunch. Yes. Amazing. All right. Uh, like I said, uh, before we wrap this up, uh, technically, is doesn't matter what we order. Uh, if it's if it's scheduled to be delivered that day, we're going to make our attempts to be home. But sometimes we probably book something in advance. So we, what we try to do is we try not to order. That uh, works. Yeah. We'll try not to order uh, prior before taking like a trip. We gotta make sure all our orders are done and delivered before we even go out of town, mm -hmm. or even just do a quick trip someplace. Yes. Uh, we gotta make sure all our deliveries are because uh, even uh, though this is nothing new, I'm just gonna yes, say this. We are lucky nobody stole. Yeah. Which we'll is yeah. Yeah, because they couldn't make an attempt down there to do it, but they, they would have to match addresses. They just they had needed to verify. the verification of the address. That's all they needed. That's usually it's uh, an ID will do it too. And that, so. I, I said, do you need my ID? She goes, no. No, it's as long as you said your address verbally, yep. and uh, you, you pop, then they matched it. They matched it. But sometimes some places... She asked me what was the last name a couple times, yeah. too. So. But sometimes uh, an ID would be... I bought it with just in case. Yeah, an ID would work in that situation, especially with the price value of that item. Okay, like I said, nothing, like I said, we live in an apartment complex, and of course, we have documented many times uh, 
crazy stuff that goes on up here. We had our, we had our, we had our locker broken into. We wasn't the only one. Our neighbors had their lockers broken into. And just recently, before the new owners took over, I think it was about two and a half years ago, uh, another series of lockers got broken into. It's the similar lockers, except ours, because we had that new padlock. You guys, we did not have to make a police report for this package we got either. That's right, because our neighbor had to file a report in that. Yeah. So, in that, but we'll be more vigilant. Uh, if there's a, if there's a, like a delivery uh, truck here and they leave a package, we just have to keep an eye out uh, on the situation and to see no shady things goes on. Uh, unfortunately, we were napping at the time when this crazy cra crap came came down. How we didn't, when I showed you the, the hallway, how we did not hear them is beyond me. But like I said, there's more than one way to enter this apartment, uh, basically. So that was it. Okay, uh, like I said, uh, when you do live in an apartment complex, there's no guarantees of what goes on. Even if you live in your house, normal house, this happens. It's called porch pirates and that. So it's always best that you guys at, own your own homes. You probably best to have some kind of security system in mind with cameras and that. What we can do here is what we can or can't do. Uh, we'd like to put security cameras up for, you know, just to be to say for us, mm -hmm. but neighbors will say, "Well, it's invasion of privacy." Well, I guess doing the videos out here on the patio could be invasion. I aim the camera that way it could be invasion of privacy, but nobody's out there. <laughs> that okay? Uh, like I said, uh, we're gonna cut out of here, and it's been a long day. It's been a very it's been a long it's been a long last few days. Uh, basically, where the crazy stuff is that's going on. We we'll just have to keep our eyes open, ears open, and you guys. Uh, my next package will be from Bath and Body Works. Yeah, whenever we get that order, but we're still looking for that monitor to come back uh, after we get the replacement monitor to come back. That'd be an awesome monitor. You guys are gonna love it. I can't wait to see it. It's kind of watching. It's like an IMAX movie screen, but at a smaller, small version of it, yes. which is great. What's great is, is we have to end this short video. That's right. Let's end it. All right. Please like, share, and subscribe. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button notification bell. We'll see you later. Bye.